Justin Trudeau's popularity is somehow at an all-time low, and it's even surprisingly getting worse and worse as time goes on. It's really in Trudeau's best interest to have done an election um, months ago than it is months or uh, even a year plus from now, because it's just getting worse, especially with comments like what you're about to see, where Justin Trudeau, in the House of Commons, during question period, calls Pierre Polyev a conspiracy theorist when he's the furthest thing from it. But before we get into the clip i want to encourage everyone to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet already it does really help push the video out and help grow the channel we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers here on house of canada so thank you very much for helping us get to that point and um yeah i've got some stickers here that hasn't yet been promoted on mr sunshine baby such as justin trudeau behind bars in jail crying link for this is down in the description or the pinned comment below and wtf where's the funds so little uh, sneak peek at some stickers that are available right now link for that is down in the description or the pinned comment below and without further ado here we go let's get into this very weird clip uh during question period of justin trudeau just kind of snapping and going a little bit insane and saying some really radical things saying he supports them speaker even a few years later in the pandemic we see the conservative leader reverts to type while we were focusing on protecting canadians every possible way we could they were peddling conspiracy theories mr speaker about vaccinations about what have you so while he continues to make personal oh, attacks great. we're going to continue to make sure we're delivering for canadians and yes we will make sure that all rules are followed and there are consequences for people who broke the laws or broke the uh, broke the rules but we will continue you to be there for Canadians while he plays partisan games. Good answer. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Proof that he's not worth the cost or the corruption. He's yeah. now calling the Auditor General a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Now that she's revealed mm -hmm. that his arrive scam went from $80,000 to at least $60 million and counting. That two insiders got $20 million working from their home basement from this Prime Minister that top Liberal government officials accepted high-end whiskeys and dinners in exchange for contracts that they let the contractors write for themselves. So once again, will he stay out of the way and let the police investigate his government or will he try to block it again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. Minister. Let's see what kind of bullshit he says. The opposition needs to work on his French. I think he just needs to work on his listening skills because in French, two answers ago, I complimented and thanked the Auditor General for her work in ensuring that rules are followed and processes have consequences if they are uh, misdone. Like this the Emergencies the Act? We know that even during a pandemic, uh, we need to be stepping up uh, to protect people along the rules. That's why there will be consequences uh, for anyone who broke those rules or those laws. While we continue to do everything we need to do to deliver for Canadians, to support people uh, in their daily lives and build a better future for all Canadians. Yes, NDP Liberal Prime Minister, we know that corruption is a feature and not a bug. SNC-Lavalin, we chair and now the Prime Minister's arrive scam at millions the Canadians won't get back. The grift and the mismanagement run so deep that the auditors couldn't even figure out how much got shipped off to Liberal insiders. So after what we learned yesterday, will the Prime Minister join us in calling the, for the RCMP to get to the bottom of all of it, every single dollar? Oh, wow. I can't believe she just called it a grift. For public works. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Et comme Oh, yeah, the vampire. Said Let's go to his French. We welcome the Auditor General's mm. report and will follow all of her recommendations when it comes to Arrive Cam. As the Minister for Public Safety said yesterday, some of the recommendations in the report... <laughs> the translator almost said Arrive Scam. <laughs> ...including implementing new measures to guarantee that tasks yeah, like and deliverables are clearly defined in professional services contracts. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. From Thornhill. Minister, the, the call is coming from inside of the House. They want Canadians to believe that they unknowingly got robbed blind by their own Liberal insiders and that they are going to get to the bottom of the Prime Minister's Arrive Scam app, which, by the way, didn't work. We didn't need, and where 75% of contractors did no work but had time to buy the government whiskey. He is not Woo! worth the and he is not worth the corruption, and Canadians want their $60 million back. No one trusts them to investigate themselves, so we'll I'll take some of that money back. stand up right here, right now, and call in the Mounties. Yeah, bring them in. 
Honorable Minister of Load them up. And procurement. Single file. Thank you to our colleague for the question. As we said yesterday, we thank again the Auditor General for her recommendations on the review of the Arise Can application. Some of the report's recommendations have already been implemented, including the introduction of new measures to ensure the tasks and deliverables are clearly defined in professional services contracts. Our departments take very seriously their duty to optimize resources. Exactly. The Honourable Member from Barry Innisfil. Arrive scam is just like the Prime Minister, not worth the cost and not worth the corruption. The investigation and damning report issued by the Auditor General on Arrive scam even shocked her. But really, after eight years of this NDP Liberal government, no one should be shocked by the level of incompetence and wasteful spending Canadians have seen from this Prime Minister. Now, a reasonable thinking person could conclude from the report that Arrive scam has reached a level of criminality. Yes. Will the Prime Minister join Conservatives and call on the RCMP to expand an investigation into Arrive scam based yeah. on the revelations in the Auditor General's report? Yes. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Speaker, Safety. As we've said in this House time and time again, any misconduct in the procurement process is unacceptable. We accept that the President of the CBSA has initiated internal audits and issued some initial reports. Mr. Speaker, she has also referred some of the concerning reports to the RCMP, but members opposite should know it's not politicians who direct the RCMP, it's the RCMP. RCMP who does this work, and the RCMP will set the mandate for wherever the case may lead, and we will accept that work. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Remember from what if it's jail time or resigning? The question was a simple one, really, Mr. Speaker. But after eight years of this NDP Liberal government, who in this place or across Canada expects a proper response from a no. Prime Minister who's not worth the cost and not worth the corruption? The AG's report causes a reasonable person to conclude that what happened with Arrive Scam has reached a level of criminality that must be investigated. So I'm going to ask again, will the Prime Minister join Conservatives and call on the RCMP to expand an investigation into a Rive scam based on the revelations I love that they keep seeing the Rive scam. Report. The Honourable Department. I love it so much. It's so much. Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, we obviously accept the Auditor General's report. We thank her. Okay, then resign. There are obviously some concerning allegations uh, being Pretty initiated. Simple. This is precisely why CBSA initiated the audit. This is precisely why they then referred some materials to the RCMP. Mr. Speaker, it doesn't matter how many times the Conservatives say it, politicians do not direct direct police investigations. It's the RCMP who will do this work, and we trust that they will follow the evidence and, again, procurement with any misconduct will come with consequences. Mm -hmm. Take accountability and resign. Mr. Speaker, yesterday the Auditor General confirmed our worst suspicions. The app, ArriveCan app cost $60 million instead of 80000 and she said that the, the files are in such a shoddy state that it's impossible to calculate the true cost. This is unheard of. We need to know, is this a matter of gross incompetence or corruption? Will the government ask the RCMP to investigate further? Uh, the Honourable Minister of Public Services and Procurement. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There's a number of things we know. The RCMP operates at arm's length. And as the Prime Minister just said, we have confidence in their ability to do their job. Secondly, the Auditor General did indeed reveal some shocking conduct in the public service, and this is undesirable despite how urgent it was to take action and provide assistance to millions of Canadians. Many of the recommendations have already been implemented and others will be shortly. The Honourable Member for Charlebourg, Haute Saint Charles. Mr. Speaker. Seems to me that when you want to shed light on thing, things, a simple yes or no answer would do. We also learned that GC Strategies got $20 million, and there was no paperwork to confirm that anything was requested or delivered. And GC Strategies even got to set the terms of their contract. If the government has nothing to hide, they should say yes, 
we want an RCMP investigation, and we want it, it, the scope of that investigation to be expanded. Reminder, everybody, yes, to no. hit the like button the and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Speaker, There's a lot of live again. viewers in here. We almost have 4,000. democracy, <clears throat> it's not the government. And a lot of you are not subscribed. dictate to the police how they should do their jobs. That's not how things work in a democracy like ours that we're fortunate enough to live in. But... Public uh, servants have responsibilities. The Auditor General did find shortcomings in the work done by the public service, and uh, this, is, this is something that we need to take seriously. The Honourable Member for Montcalm. Thanks for watching the video to the very end. If you'd like to subscribe, I've made it very easy. You can do so by clicking right there. If you'd like to watch another House of Commons highlight clip, you can do so by clicking right there. And if you'd like to subscribe to my main channel, Mr. Sunshine Baby, where it's all Canadian political news, then you can do so by t tapping up there. Um, subscribing is absolutely free. There's a button down below that says subscribe. If you'd like to join and become a member and financially contribute, you could do so as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.